welcome back to Layla Land. How have you all been? It's been a while, hasn't it? I think it's been about two months since I filmed and uploaded anything, or um, I think it's been about two months since I just abandoned social media and just vanished into the ether. Um, so today's video is the first one back for ages, and what better video to start with than testing out and getting to grips with the new Kami MUA palette with Revolution. This is the Make Magic palette and it is full of beautiful colours, textures, formulas, shimmers, mattes, cools, warms, neutrals, bolds. It's just absolutely beautiful and has helped me create this look, which I am absolutely obsessed with right now, to be honest. I'm really, really feeling this look. Um, I'm also going to be explaining where I've been, um, chatting you through a couple of developments throughout my life. Um, so yeah, if you want to see where I've been, you want to see what I'm up to now, um, you want to just hear about the ups and downs and twists and turns of life in Layla Land, and you want to see what Carmi's new palette is all about, then keep watching. <sighs> Alright, let's get the show on the road. So, we've got Carmi's new palette, the Make Magic palette. Um, oh my god, right, I'm just far too excited, let's just open it, let's just open it, oh. Okay, nothing's changed, I still can't open anything on camera. First of all, I'm loving this teal, bluey, oceany, mermaidy kind of colour situation going on. I'm not a very blue girl, I'm not a very, like, fan of blue, but I'm, I'm really loving this kind of teal um, shimmery business going on. <laughs> right. Whoa. Oh. Oh. See, I thought, when I've seen this online, I thought it was just glittery. And when I say just glittery, I do mean glitter. There should never be a just in front of glitter because glitter is wonderful. But I thought this was going to be like glittery, like the, um, the jewel, what's this? The jewel palettes that they did at Christmas that time. Do you remember? They were kind of glittery and sparkly, but this is sort of, I don't want to say like snake skin, but it's almost that kind of patterning, but then with the shimmery glitter as well. <gasps> I love that. That is gorgeous. It's like got like leaf veining through it almost. Carmi, what is it? What is it? <gasps> right, okay, 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 okay. I need to just open that then without like taking a minute. <sighs> okay. <gasps> oh, ooh. Okay, let's get rid of you. Oh, man. <gasps> right, just look at this. Oh, that's so smudgy. Okay, so. Um, oh, I love those colours. You do you. Oh my god, I could I could just hear Carby saying the names of this. Brilliant. Um, okay, right. So first of all, jumping out at me are um uh this one, obviously this kind of uh goldy, bronzy, goldy colour called Money Maker. Um, this one called Bite Me. Love that one. You called Desire, Alexa. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is some sort of duochrome pinky brown magic. This is called You Got This. Um, this one looks gorgeous, self made. That looks like kind of a duochrome greeny, bluey, yellow situation. Maybe more green than blue, but. Or is this the same colour as this? It looks like this one in the middle, self-made, is a very similar colour to this, which are leaks. Uh, this one, Integrity, looks beautiful. Um, okay, so I've, I seem to have gone for the shimmers. <laughs> um, okay, like mattes. What are we like? I love this warm orange called Flame. Flames, even. Um, oh, free hugs. I can absolutely attest to Kami being one of the world's greatest huggers. Like, I love a cuddle. And oh my God, when we met, we finally met. We've been chatting over message for ages and we finally met and had the biggest, squeeziest, longest cuddle I've ever had, ever. Like, Kami cuddles are brilliant. Um, 
Oh, and I love these, dark side and camo. Oh my God, I love that. I love kind of khaki, olivey, dark olivey green, camo kind of green. So yeah, I love that one, camo. Right, I don't know what I'm gonna do because I just love too many of them. Um, right then, okay. Um, I'm not gonna do any swatches um, just because I'm just gonna end up making a mess all over the show. I might do a couple of swatches on the along the way just to kind of try and choose you know which to put together and which to use maybe but in terms of as a whole palette i'm not going to do the whole swatching do go and watch carmy's video though where he announced this palette because he did swatch every single color and talk through the shades and how to kind of pair them up and you know the thought process behind them so i will link that in the description so go and do watch that if you do want swatches of the whole thing let's just get going and um and we'll just talk through it that way. I love the fact that there's a huge mirror there as well because, you know, we need to be able to see our beautiful faces as we're putting all of this magical paint all over it, don't we? So let's just do it, shall we? Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> right, so first things first, I'm just gonna go and pop a transition shade down. I've already primed my eyes, hence looking like some scary adamant type throwback situation. Um, and I think for my transition shade, I'm gonna use this one called confidence i really love as well can you see on the matte shades carmy's little signature heart is embossed on there as well which a leaks leaks are right <sighs> let's begin oh i love that color oh that for me that is the perfect transition shade absolutely gorgeous um that is covering really nicely um there's not a lot of fallout at all it's a really even application i'm just dabbing that on because i've got the primer down and that's still sort of tacky um but yeah love that it's not going on in a big stripe as well even when i'm dabbing it i'm not kind of blending or swiping and it's going on really nicely oh very nice very nice right let's do the other eye Okay, that's gone on. I know it's only a transition shade and you guys can't see that, but, and you're not supposed to be able to see it, but it's gone on really nicely. I've just dabbed it on rather than swooping or swiping or, you know, sort of moving the brush side to side over it at all. I've literally just dabbed it on. Um, but it's not gone on in like a harsh line. It's still blended even by tapping it by some weird magic. See what I did there? See what I did? Thanks ever so much. Um, so yeah, I like it. Elixir, right. Um, I'm really looking at these shimmers and thinking what the bobbins am I gonna do? This one is really calling my name. Um, mm. <laughs> oh my God, let's swatch it. So this one is the oh my god it's got a kind of greeny blue and then it goes off into that pinky brown that's absolutely gorgeous <gasps> okay i really want to use him i really want to use him so that one's called you got this oh, but because of you as well let's have a look at you they're so buttery okay so this is the kind of orangey bronzy one called because of you um Oh, maybe an inner corner situation with that one would be good on me. Um, right, I think I'm going to go with you got this for the, the main kind of patchouf. Or do I put that in the middle? <gasps> I just don't know. Uh, right, so first, I think I'm going to go in with this one called Free Hugs. And I'm just going to start going into the crease and um, getting some colour down on there. I don't need to deepen it up because I've got the deepest creases going. So there we go. Let's just crack on Avec that. Um... So also, I went into how, oh my god, look at the colour payoff. Literally just dabbed into that like twice. A look at the colour payoff. That's incredible. Um, okay, so first things first, let's have a chat. Um, and let's maybe talk about where the hell have I been for two months? You may know that Paul and I broke up, which obviously was a horrible situation i'm sure for everybody involved but obviously for me and paul and you know to kind of feel like i was um having to not put on being happy for you lot or to film a video or 
you know, it just takes a lot of energy to when you're not feeling great and you've got a million things on your mind to kind of force yourself when you're not ready to into kind of playing the clown and playing that role um, was just just not top of my priority list to be honest um, and you know in terms of me and Paul we are um, a 22 year story um, which if you've been around for the whole 22 years <laughs> we're sorry it's been a bit of a journey for the both of us I think before I get into much more I'm gonna then start building up and getting a little bit deeper into that crease and the outer corner so I'm going to start using uh, You Do You which is down here and it's a bit more of a dark reddy brown really and I'm, as I said I'm going to pop that into the outer V and then into the crease a little bit obviously breakups are horrible but breakups when they feel unnecessary are like the worst and I think for me it was I mean for well, not for both of us but I can only speak for me um it was just awful I mean at the end of the day we adore each other and we want to be together and to not be together is such an alien concept for us so it was it was horrible um and i then went into this you know kind of mental health spin um where you know the anxiety was ridiculous and i just was not getting um any food down i was not getting any better um, I think more as time went on it was getting worse so that wasn't very nice so obviously picking up a camera and doing a cheery you know excited YouTube video just was not on the cards to be honest um, and also I think going into um, okay I'm just gonna pick up a blending brush and start to blend that together a little bit and just make that a little nicer and just blow the edges out a little bit there but yeah I think once the initial dust had settled and we started um, speaking again and kind of communicating a little more it became very apparent that neither one of us was coping very well with being apart which then led to you know a couple of conversations and just really talking about things as we probably should have done in the first place let's face it so the world is back to how it should be and we are back together and all is well in our world so fans of Paul and Layla don't fear we are still going right one thing I am finding with this is that this dark colour is fine on the outer V but it is not going into my crease now I don't know whether that is because brush it could be that um, it works better if you use the darker color first so let me remove this and we'll start again because we're not too far into it we can afford to do that so just bear with a second please right so I've reprimed let's start that whole sitch again and we'll just try that situation instead. Yeah, I can already tell that's sticking and there's a bigger colour payoff. So, there we go. We learn, don't we? Um, so, yes. Yeah, so, Paul and Layla, the ultimate relationship goals are back on. Everything's fine. So, that's really good. That's just really good. We're very happy. Um, we've learned a lot about each other and ourselves and what we want and what we don't want. And um, I think the biggest thing is just that we just adore each other and we belong together. So we're just going to be together. You know, and be together on our terms. Um, in, in a way that makes us happy because that's just how we all need to live life, really. So yeah, so I think, you know, just giving each other our full attention and um, one of the things that I recognised was the amount of time I'd been spending on, you know, my YouTube channel and my social media. And when I say that, I mean, I don't just mean like the amount of videos I was producing or, you know, time spent filming or um, planning or anything like that. It was, you know, everything, just literally, it becomes... It becomes con all consuming and you need to almost kind of okay well that person's doing that so I need to do that even though it's not particularly something that you want to be doing or not particularly something that's very you or you know and it's I've, I've kind of always wanted with my channel to be something that joins together 
different topics with beauty included you know i'm obviously not the best makeup artist i obviously i'm not the most knowledgeable about beauty products skincare products but i am enthusiastic and passionate about them for myself which i want to share on my channel um i think i'm getting all right at painting my face and if if there are any tips along the way that help you lot out then that's wonderful um something else i'm very passionate about though is you know helping to motivate people and helping to try to offer some little tips on living positively and getting through things and getting over things because i've been through a lot and i've learned these things along the way so i want to share that with people and it's been really difficult for me to work out how to marry the two together and i think just before i go into that as well i'm gonna then go into this one which is called overcome <gasps> there we go didn't even plan that one um so yeah it's gonna go into him um and that like i said the beauty industry is quite or can be quite um i mean it's all about keeping up isn't it it's all about being on trend and being the next big thing and being you know being up to date with with how it's all going and what's happening and who's doing what and what styles are in fashion and you know that kind of deal and i think i think for me the main the main issue that i was having was that i was probably trying to or feeling like I was I was having to try to fit in to a, a group of people or you know a section of the community that I'm not really bothered about being a part of or not um I was never kind of one of the popular girls I was never into that kind of crowd I don't really follow fashion. I'm interested in it and I appreciate it, but I don't follow it as in, oh my God, I need to be wearing this because somebody else is. Like if I like something, I'll, I'll wear it. I don't really, I don't really feel like I have to obey any kind of rules really. And that's, I think that's where my kind of stress levels were, were kind of coming from because, you know, you try and fit yourself into a box that you don't even want to fit into. So it's going to stress you out because it's not you. It's not it's not authentic you that's coming out, you know, and you're trying to kind of emulate something that doesn't need to exist within you. Um, so that's actually been a really cool thing to kind of recognise and realise. And it's helped me to realise that I can marry the two subjects together and I can, um, you know, still talk about makeup, but talk about it in a way that interests me and share with you the things that are interesting to me but while speaking about other topics as well. So I'm actually really excited. So yeah, I mean, I'm all for learning about myself and, you know, kind of those self evolution moments to me are like just so invaluable and just incredible. So that's been great. Um, I would have preferred not to have to go through it the way I did, but you know, such is life. Okay, so I'm going to then go in with a different blending brush and I'm just going to neaten up and just feather out that outside where those two shades join. And then towards the end, if we need to, we can go back and deepen up. But I just want to get the shape and the blend on this first. So yeah, it's quite, it's quite nice. I mean, when I say I don't want to be part of the beauty community, it's, it's mainly things like, you know, the whole... Tatty James Charles nonsense, you know, it would be nice to, I was going to say, it would be nice to achieve that the level of success that your Jeffree Stars and your Tatty Westbrooks and your James Charles has got. However, we all measure success completely differently and, you know, we're all on totally different paths, aren't we? So it, it, it's, it seems to me that there are certain aspects, I'm not even going to say, there just are, there are certain aspects of the beauty community that I'm not interested in. Um, I'm not interested in the drama, I'm not interested in the catcalling, the backstabbing, the catfights, the calling out culture, the cancel culture, I'm just not interested. Um, so to try and kind of stress myself out or put the pressure on myself to try and wonder how to, you know, kind of get into that world is just unnecessary. So I'm really, really happy that I've kind of realised that and I've kind of taken that pressure off myself because the people that I do associate with on YouTube from the beauty side of things are people like Kami and are people like Tammy Clark and, you know, the Revolution Gang and 
that's because they aren't like those people you know they're incredibly talented but they're incredibly down to earth real people you know they're they're real mature and i say that in a mean like you know attitude wise i'm clearly the oldest one um you know kind of just real people with real stories and no kind of facade no kind of front um which i struggle with with people i like real people flaws and all you know messy bits it's you know it's just I just find those people way more interesting to be honest so um it's actually been really liberating to kind of realize that and, and kind of just explore that a little bit and just take the pressure off myself and it's been really nice to think okay with you know with that extra space in my head okay what is it I do want to do and I think you know my kids have got to an age where they're older and they don't need me as much in terms of um you know, I'm just I'm just kind of here to oversee things rather than have that massive input that you have when they're small. Does that make sense to anybody? Um, so you do kind of have a little oh okay. So what what else do I want to do, or what what can I fill that time with, or that kind of piece of of the energy that I would give out that's not needed anymore as much. What what can I do with that then? Where can that go? Um, and something which has completely come out of the blue to me, everybody else around me seems to be totally like, uh-huh, in this whole situation. But to me, I've started um, studying for a fitness instructor qualification. Oh my God. Wait till you hear how that came about because there was some actual, you know, subterfuge going on there. Let me look at this go and see where we want to go with this. So I think what I will do when we go in and clean everything up is just deepen up that a little more. Um, but I'm loving those colours so far. Um, I'm loving as well. They've kind of bled out a little bit there in the blend and they've kind of just, just elongated my eye. Love it. Right, what next? So Carmi said with this top row, if I show it you the right way around, um, so this top row, can you see with the bigger pans, these are all the kind of cream to powder, more buttery finish uh, shadows. So Kami says these are best used with your finger. Now, obviously, if you have long nails or acrylic nails, it's a little bit difficult. However, I had an unfortunate basket lifting accident last week and ripped off one of my nails. And when I say ripped off one of my nails, oh, I do mean my nail and I do mean ripped off. Oh, the pain. You know that kind of pain you're in where you go silent? I couldn't even swear and I love a good swear. It was, uh, it was, it was traumatic. So what I'm trying to get at is I do actually have a finger free. So let's start building that up. So... I'm thinking to just put it straight on because the colour that I've used in the crease has gone down onto the lid a little bit so that'll give a really nice dark base for it to stand out on. <gasps> so let's go into this. Okay, so fitness. So obviously I've been going to the gym um, for a while. It's something that, oh my God. <gasps> <gasps> Can you see this? Oh my god, Carmi, that is ridiculous. <gasps> that is incredible. I have never seen a colour like it. Oh my god. Well, this is about to be a new obsession, isn't it? Can I just say how well this is building up as well? Like, it's not gone clumpy. I'm obsessed with this. I have a lot of texture on my eyelids. Um, and you usually stay away from shimmer eyeshadows at the moment. But this one isn't sinking into that texture and making it look worse it's just a shimmery eyelid of a 38 year old woman it's just, oh my god i love it i love it so much i am so happy at the minute because i've got an amazing gym to go to which is right by uh, my eldest college um so i literally do the college drop off in the morning usually and just straight across to the gym it's a brand new facility so it's it's kitted out with some of the most incredible, I just got that on my cheek, some of the most incredible equipment, um, but also the trainers there are just incredible and one of the trainers in particular is somebody I've known for a while through the gym, um, Holly Lynch, I will leave a link to her Instagram page, seriously go and check out what this girl can do, it's ridiculous, she's so strong and fit and healthy and one of the nicest people ever 
So we've got Holly training us. I've got two of my best friends that train with me, so that's brilliant. And it's just been totally amazing for me to see my body just one changing and getting stronger and be more able but particularly after having two uh, knee reconstructions um you know i've been through a lot with my body and my knees particularly so it's it's been great to work with a trainer that understands them and understands how to build them up and you know what to work with but also how to handle me and how impatient i get with things like that um okay i'm wiping this away this was not fallout this was me literally wiping my face so <laughs> sorry call me i'm making your palette look awful um oh my god i'm absolutely loving this this is incredible okay so what i think i'm going to then do is like deepen up the outside and just get a bit of contrast going there as well so yeah so like i say our trainer really really knows me and how to kind of handle me and was saying that um they were running um a level two fitness instructor course and should i join it and i've kind of you know thought over the years oh my god it would be incredible to be a fitness instructor you know kind of it's that whole doing something that you're passionate about and you know making that your job kind of deal um but as i say i've had all this surgery and i've had all this i've got all these joint problems and i kind of thought you know there's no way anybody's going to come to me for training there's the, everybody's going to look at me and my body and think really what do you know um and rather than kind of argue with me about that, Holly was just like, well, it might do you some good um, in terms of teaching Charlotte and when you do your homeschool lessons and PE lessons and, you know, kind of understanding Charlotte's body after a stroke and, you know, it might just be useful rather than anything. It might just be interesting for you. So, um, so I was like, right, okay. Fair enough, you've got me. It's just signed up to the course and it's ended up being the thing I'm most interested in. It's amazing. I'm obsessed. I cannot get enough of the course material. The people on my course are amazing. I've met some really good friends um, and I'm just loving it. And I'm flying through the course. I've passed two out of three exams so far. I'm just loving it. And I'm absolutely gaining so much confidence now and being able to say, actually, look at what i've achieved and why wouldn't i be a good fitness instructor because i understand you know rehabilitation and coming back after an injury and look at all the things my legs have achieved never mind oh no i can't i've had a load of surgery like why not so i think you know i've realized that things like this are just my own perceptions um and that's all anything is everything if you talk yourself out of doing something, you're never going to do it. If you have any doubt in your mind about doing something, you will never do it. The minute, you know, if you kind of commit your mind to something and you have that confidence and that belief in yourself, there's not a person on the planet that can stop you. That has given me a huge confidence boost, um, which is wonderful. So yeah, who'd have thunk? I'm loving this now. It's kind of building up that drama on the outer edge as well. Oh! Okay, so I think we are nearly there on the eye look. Oh my God. Right, I'm loving this. I'm totally loving this. Right, give me a minute. Let me just go away and do the rest of my face. And then I want to come and do under eye in a corner. And then have a good old gush about my little love Carmi and what I think about this palette. there we go rest of the face is on and i'm loving it so i just need to go in now and do the under eye and the inner corner so let's crack on with that one i think i'm gonna do like a bit more of a color underneath um and maybe to tie in the lip and the kind of um purpler tones going through the crease i think i'm gonna do like a bright purple underneath so let me find the best brush for that job um oh here we go there we go little little 
real technique situation there. So I think I'm going to use um, this gorgeous purpley shade Desire. And I'm just going to pop that underneath just to give a little smooch of colour there. I'm just trying to use like as many colours as I can, to be honest, because I'm loving this palette. I really love it. I'm really not going to need to say anything at the end of this review, am I? Because I just really love it. God, I really love that pop of colour underneath. <gasps> love it. Okay, so now I'm going to go for inner corner. And I think, I think I want to use Moneymaker, which is this gorgeous gold that's in the middle there. So this is one of the, oh, see, this is one of the ones that goes on best with a finger. I wonder if a sponge would do the trick. Bear with. See, you know when you get an eyeshadow palette and you get these, keep them. They come in so handy. Right, so let's see if using this instead of a brush on the inner corner works. Um, so I'm going to go in with Moneymaker. <gasps> Kami! <gasps> oh my god. That colour is insane! <gasps> Oh my god, that is the deepest gold. Oh my god, and that is such a like true gold colour as well. <gasps> okay, so let me just catch a bit of fallout there. And that is my fault because Kami did say use your fingers. Oh my god, I'm I'm just I'm just in shock at that colour. That's incredible. Right, let me see if I can use my finger on the other inner corner then because it seems to be how it works best oh my god oh my god look at it god and the way it dries down is ridiculous right then right then so let me just finish off because i just still need to do my um waterline and the mascara on my lower lashes so we'll just do that together i've not gone for um a, like dramatic winged liner and lashes just because i just want this the eyeshadow to stand out and I feel like again because I've got tiny eyes as soon as I start putting a wing on and as soon as I start putting a lash on it kind of covers it up too much um and I've got ridiculously long eyelashes anyway so let's just use my natural eyelashes no liner on the top um but we'll do our waterline because I feel like that makes such a good effect so let's do that so I'm using the revolution line and flick and I'm just popping that on the waterline there say look at the difference that makes just look at that it's just <sighs> right and we'll do this one this is my tickly one so bear with i'm gonna try not to cry it all off now that wasn't too tickly that wasn't too tickly okay so again um just looking underneath i'm just gonna pop um a little liner sort of on the waterline of my upper eyelid i think it's called tight lining Go with me, it looks a bit weird, can't speak. <laughs> Definitely can't speak when I'm doing that, but it just makes your top lashes look a little bit thicker as well, if you kind of get that gap. See, she's back giving you tips all over the place. There we go. Right, little lick of mascara now. Where's it gone? So I'm using the Mascara Revolution from Revolution. As I still want to call them Makeup Revolution. I'm sorry, Adam, I'm trying my best, okay? Um, right, so I'm just going to whack another coat. I've only got one coat on at the minute, so I'm just going to whack another coat on the upper lashes, but also going to pop some on the lower lashes. And then I think we're about done, you know? There we go, we're finished! Oh, I love it so much! Right, so then, thoughts on the palette? Can anybody guess? what I think. Um, I absolutely ruddy love it. There are so many looks you could do with it. It's like difficult to try and pick one. Um, the formulas are incredible, particularly these. Oh my gosh. Um, and what a range as well. I feel like there's something there to suit everybody, whatever skin tone you're rocking, whatever look you like to go for. If you like to switch it up a lot, I feel like this can be a really, really, really good palette to keep in your arsenal. Um, yeah. Elixir, 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 Elixir. And what a palette to come back on. I did just hit myself in the face as well. <laughs> so yeah, I love it. I love the colour of it. I love the design of it. I love the formula. The colours have all gone together beautifully. Do you want to come in a bit closer so you can see this here shimmery business? Come on. 
I mean, look. It's just beautiful. I just love that whole shimmery situation going on. That duochrome cream to powder is absolutely stunning. Just absolutely stunning. Right, back up again, back up again. Are we about there, do you think? What do we reckon? <laughs> um, yeah, so I really liked it. I'm so happy to be back as well, and I hope you're happy to have me back. Um, one of the things that kind of really got me, um, to take time out of something like this, or um, take time out of your friendship circle, or take time out of, um, you know, work, or anything at all to look after your mental health and to kind of concentrate on you a bit more is, is absolutely necessary, but then to try and go back into something once you've taken that time out can be really scary because you kind of think, well, you know, somebody else filled my place, do I even have a place anymore? And you know, kind of getting back into the swing of things can be really daunting, I think, for me anyway. And one of the nicest things that has come out of this in terms of social media and in terms of my audience is the response you guys have had. You've not all disappeared. You've not all left me. You've all been so welcoming whenever I have posted on social media. And, excuse me, and the just the positivity that you've shown me and you know being excited to know that I'm coming back has meant so much to me particularly Carmen you've been so positive and loving um over the past few weeks and have sent me some beautiful messages and left me some beautiful comments and really really picked me up when um I've needed picking up so thank you so much for that and I love you lots um so yeah I'm just so happy to be back and to be feeling positive and um to be being received in such a positive way so thank you so very much for all of that support it's been marvellous um in terms of this palette I can't knock it at all I'm actually really excited to go and start playing again and see what other looks I can come up with um but I just wanted to go a little bit extra for the comic you know just just a little bit extra for my boy there um and kind of uh, vamp it up a bit really because why not why the devil not so that is me done that is me firmly back on your youtube on your social media um and i'm really looking forward to bringing you lots of content and sharing my favorite beauty products and generally sitting in my bedroom and playing with makeup whilst i talk to you and be your biggest cheerleader in life so i'm just super excited i may have spat a little bit there because they get very passionate about the subject so I do apologize but you know there we go. We're just we're just real on here and sometimes we spit everywhere, you know. It's just life, isn't it? May have got a little ham on the nose highlighter there, Layla, but there we go. So I hope you have all enjoyed this video. I hope you've all enjoyed the look I've created. I hope you've all understood where I've been and why I went away and are looking forward to the direction we're taking from now on. Um, if you have liked it and you have enjoyed the video and you are looking forward to the content that's coming up, then please go and share it with your friends. Um, let's grow our family of just positivity and motivation and encouragement as big as we can possibly get it. Let's create this bubble of just love and positivity and fun in just quite frankly a sad and scary world right now um so go and share as much as you can tell all your friends about Layla Land share on social media make sure you are subscribed and make sure you've liked this video by giving it a big thumbs up make sure as well you go and leave me a comment if you want to shout out in my next video I'm gonna have to do today's shout out to Kami not that you really need one to be honest um but just props to you because you know you've got a heck of a lot of people I'm sure are messaging you on a daily basis and I know that you're incredibly busy and I know that you've got lots of projects going on that we know about lots of projects going on that we don't know about um you know and it's just very touching that you've taken time out of your day to even notice that I disappeared for a little while so it was just just lovely of you so thank you so much for lifting me up and you get the shout out today so if you want a shout out in next in the next video go and leave a comment and let me know and say hello um let me know in the comments as well what you think of this look do you think we should do a few more vampy looks what do you reckon elixir I think it might be a new me I think we might have uh, stumbled across an identity we never know never know um so yeah anyway I'm gonna go now because um I finished waffling I'm gonna go and um I think I'm gonna just go and make tea looking like this and just prance around a bit feeling fabulous and wonderful for the rest of the evening what about you um 
So have an amazing day, whatever it is you're doing. Let me know what you're doing down in the comments as well. What are you getting up to? What's going on? This bank holiday weekend, what are you doing? What are you doing? Who are you doing it with? What's going on? Huh? Huh? Um, don't forget, I love you this much from here all the way around the world. I'm back to here again. I nearly fell off my bed then showing you how much I love you. <sighs> so there we go. Never forget how loved you are and how brilliant you are. Have an amazing day and I will see you next time.